My mind is a storm. I don't think most people would want to be me. Right, right. They may think they would want to be me, but they don't. They don't know. They don't understand. What do you think of that? Elon's mm -hmm. someone that people probably look up to and admire yeah, well, and aspire you know, to be. One of the downsides to high-level genius is, you might describe it as hypomania. So here's a simple test that people can do. So this is a test of something called verbal fluency. And verbal fluency is associated with creativity. And so a ver here's a simple ver verbal fluency test. Write down as many four-letter words as you can in three minutes that begin with T. Okay, that's, that's pretty constrained, four letters in T. Or, or write down as many words as you can in three minutes that begin with S. That's less constrained. All right, so there's quite a powerful correlation between the sheer number of words that you produce and your lifetime creative achievement, right? Especially in the artistic and verbal domains. That's different than vocabulary. Vocabulary is how many words you understand. Fluency is how many words you can produce in a given Deployment amount of time. Deployment of those yeah. words. Yeah. Well, people vary to a degree that you can hardly imagine. So some people, if you get them to do the four-letter test in three minutes, they'll write down like 12 words. And some will write down 150. And the ones who are writing down 150, their minds are going at a hypomanic rate. They're just thinking five times as fast bing, 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 as... Bing, 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 bing. Yeah, without any remission whatsoever. And you know, when that gets completely out of control, you have manic. You have someone who's manic. And there's nothing fun about manic. That's where the word maniac comes from. And someone who's manic has a thousand different plans, each of which are one sentence long, that they're hyper-enthusiastic about. They'll spend every cent of their money pursuing them, and things just go immediately to hell. And so that's the, that's the outer limit of pathology on the creative front. And someone like Musk, who's clearly a genius, that's what he's contending with in his internal landscape. Now, I'm not saying that he's manic, because I see no signs of that. But someone that creative is on that edge. Or you t see someone like Ben Shapiro. I mean, it's very interesting to talk to Ben because, and Russell Brand is the same way. Shapiro speaks, I think, more rapidly than anyone I ever met. But if you're with him, you see very clearly that he's probably thinking five times that fast. And that's a lot. And when I was writing Maps of Meaning, which was my first book, I had a very difficult time shutting off my mind. I was obsessed with that book. And so I was writing about three hours a day. And then I was thinking about the material, like, for 12 hours. As, and the thoughts came as way faster than thinking. They probably came about as fast as I can read. I can read about 1,200 words a minute if the material isn't overwhelmingly dense. And so it was just non-stop thought for like 16 hours a day. That's part of the reason I started lifting weights. Because if I was lifting heavy Can't enough weights... Can't be thinking at 1,200 words a minute while I've got 100 exactly, pounds on my exactly. back. It was, yeah, enough yeah, yeah. To, it was enough to shut it down. Yeah. And it was also one of the reasons that I drank because that was another thing that would shut it off. Yeah. Well, I, I think the price that people pay to be the person that you admire is just such an interesting frame to look at someone like Elon Musk. Mm -hmm. My mind is a storm. I don't think most people would want to be me. The price mm -hmm. that you would have to pay in mm -hmm. order to be me is not one that you would, but you're the, one of the richest men on the planet and you get to, mm -hmm. you know, dance on stage and, and release cars that are bulletproof and put rockets in space and right. stuff. Well, yeah, but what about all of the baggage? What's the yeah. price? What's well, the he's price? also he also appears to me to be hyper conscientious and I know people who've worked with him like Musk isn't just a creative genius. He's also an extremely conscientious engineer, which, and really conscientious engineers, they have very interesting minds. I like talking to engineers because my brother-in-law is a great engineer. And when, when he understands something, Jim, when he understands something, he understands how to build it out of atoms, right? Like he understands it at every single level. And Musk appears to me to be someone who's this rare combination of hyper creative, but also hyper conscientious. Does and that I know wrangle, that he works all the time. Yeah, does that sort of uh, hypertrophied executive function help to wrangle some of the diffuse creative energy? Oh, we're going to put it into this one thing at least for a while and then we'll move on to another yes. thing. Yes.
Yes, definitely, definitely. You, you, Eric Weinstein's a good example of someone. I hope Eric isn't annoyed by this, but Eric is unbelievably creative, but he's not particularly conscientious. And so his, and, and I think he found an occupation where that works extremely well because he's, he, I don't know if he's still doing this, but he worked with Peter Thiel for quite a long time as his idea man, right? And Eric's an extremely interesting person. Musk is hyper creative. And as far as I can tell, hyper conscientious and the conscientiousness does focus. You know, it, it, and, and that lots of people who are creative aren't conscientious. Well, it's rare. Like if you're one in the, there's no correlation between creativity and conscientiousness. Okay. So if you're one in a thousand, if you're the most creative person in a thousand and you're the most conscientious person in a thousand, you're one person in a million. And Musk is probably more like one person in a hundred million right something like that maybe more but or maybe a billion right maybe thanks for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe